herself quick because she was doing it when they shut down for two years yes that's that's, the, that's showing you how strong she is that's what that's natural law we're dealing with when we're dealing with the natural law as you say it does what it does when we start talking about this this zupu thing then you know we're talking about unbalancing that there and hey but that's part of, of the zoop the zoop it's always finding ways to kill and Nupu comes in as the opposite of Zupu, the best mind versus the one mind, the worst mind, and find ways to live and supplement and replace what the Zoop has created for it to, con to continue to survive and thrive. I wanted to, I don't know, I, I know you heard about this. Over here, at least three, four banks that allegedly failed over oh, here okay we're doing that we're doing that shit now 1935 yeah, yeah that's what they do but i told you they that they, they're not gonna make no 2030 they that's welcome to the year 2030 welcome to my city or should i say our city I don't own anything, I don't own a car, I don't own a house, I don't own any appliances or any clothes. It might seem odd to you, but it makes perfect sense for us in this city. And what were they saying about rent at the World Economic Forum? Nah, they envisioned it's all free because it's communal. In our city, we don't pay any rent because someone else is using our free space whenever we do not need it. My living room is used for business meetings when I'm not there. Well, that sounds fun. And by the way, the global elite don't want you worrying about that whole privacy thing anymore either. Once in a while, I get annoyed about the fact that I have no real privacy. Nowhere I can I go and not be registered. I know that somewhere, everything I do, think and dream of is recorded. I just hope that nobody will use it against me. All in all, it's a good life. I, that's not made up, that's real. Doesn't it sound like a young CCP kind of pamphlet? And four years later, the word collective gets used more. National sovereignty is a quaint, outdated idea for the global billionaires. 2021 will be the critical year to re-establish trust in our ability to shape our common future in collective and constructive ways. The recovery cannot be a mere restart. The reconstruction must be a transformation. Every country, city, financial institution and company needs to adopt credible plans for transition to net zero emissions by 2050. You can be sure that Klaus Schwab will not suffer under this new regime. If anything, he and the rest of the global billionaires will only get richer. But working class Americans will feel the pain and they're forced to sacrifice and they'll be forced to tailor their dreams to this new global norm. So they, that the fact that the planet sped up, it affects the time. And they're, they're trying to run off that time yes. with the star because you can't do nothing but depend on the zodiac and the moon of the planets because that's how it's always done. Whether mm. it's positive or negative, no one out of their love doing this on the third day and the third month, but, but not everything is fast. They trying to work with it and it's making them dizzy. Yes. And they're making mistakes because they are rushing and not knowing that they're, they're being rushed. And that's why I said that uh, in 2022 on Remy L's uh, um, show about how things sped up. And it's, it's utterly ridiculous, but we have to be glad because these are showing their hand. And also we 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 need to get away from all of that. Huh. We need to get away from that. Yeah. Because I hint, we already... I hint to the why I hint to the why it should be more than sufficient because there's signs and wonders right out, out here right now, man. And there's some mm -hmm. people that are just like, as you say, very linear in this year. 
things are mm-hmm. popping off. Like as we let's rewind this thing down, right? Mm. Anything that the 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 shame stream media, as you say, put some out there. That how is that important over <laughs> the fact that America is now surrounded by Russian submarines? Mm. Russia deploys its submarines on the coasts of Europe and the US. Over the past several years, Moscow has been producing a series of submarines that have the capability to reach the most critical targets in the US or continental Europe, and now NATO members are increasingly sounding the alarm over the activities of Vladimir Putin's submarine fleet. It was stated by Newsweek outlet. It is said that the Russian Navy commands one of the most diverse submarine fleets in the world, Some are capable of carrying ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads, which Moscow considers key to its strategic deterrent. Experts also say that, in the unlikely case of war, Russia's fleet will be used as one of the tools in the country's escalation management toolkit. In other words, the threat from Moscow's submarines armed with conventional weapons will allow it to deter Western adversaries from bringing their advantages in other areas into play. There are growing fears among NATO members that Putin could use his fleet to target underwater cables and critical infrastructure that are vital to global communication systems. Undersea cables, especially undersea fiber optic cables, are critical pieces of fixed infrastructure that are extremely difficult to defend. Putin has repeatedly accused NATO of directly participating in his full-scale invasion of Ukraine, which he launched on February the 24th, 2022. With those threats come renewed fears that the military alliance could be dragged into the conflict. According to Michael Peterson, director of Russia Maritime Studies Institute, any improbable but potential war by Russia against NATO is likely to focus in on ground warfare. Russia's current submarine activity is as dangerous as Cold War levels in terms of sheer volume. We have indications that nuclear-powered submarines have been deploying off the coast of the United States and into the Mediterranean and elsewhere along European periphery in ways that mirror Soviet-style submarine deployments in the Cold War, he said. Mm. How does that not make the news? And these are nuclear submarines. Niggas think that Putin gonna push a button to send some nuclear... You got nuclear submarines for that? Yep. And they don't position themselves around the United States. Mm-hmm. This is a distraction. Major. That's what that is. People yeah. are still don't realize why they was hollering about Trump. One thing they didn't holler about was that the country was was under threat. Those four years. This Negro get in here, Biden, and turn everything against America. Everything. No, have, when have you ever heard that? Food Never. Shortages, fake food shortages. Peters, well, if you've been paying attention to the press or your own store shelves for the last few months, You've probably noticed this growing worry about supply chains and good shortages. Now, of course, leaders have been blaming it all on COVID, COVID lockdowns, but the economy in most places reopened months ago. So the shortages only seem to be getting worse is raising a lot of eyebrows. Now, you probably first saw it earlier this year with lumber. At one point this spring, just the increase in lumber prices raised the cost of building a new home by an average of $30,000. Prices have gone down since they peaked in May, but the National Association of Home Builders just warned White House occupant dementia patient Joe Biden that prices will probably surge again this fall and then again next spring. But for now, forget lumber, because now there's shortages in everything. The Atlantic Magazine literally calls it the everything shortage. In an article just out last week, there aren't enough new cars because they don't have enough computer chips for them, and there aren't enough computer chips for them because there's a shortage of semiconductors. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means that you can't just go repair your old car because there's a months-long backlog for spare parts. 
In addition to that, no country exports more food than America. Yet right here in the United States, people going to the supermarkets are finding shortages on our shelves. Now, even when you have enough stuff, you don't have enough containers to ship it in. A cargo container big enough to hold 35,000 books, for example, used to cost $2,500 for a shipment. Now it costs $25,000. Suddenly all those ads you see on Alex Jones for doomsday prepper kits don't seem like such a bad idea. I think I'm going to take part. I'll take part, you take part. Then we'll be laughing all winter long at all these other non-believers while we feast on our 80-gallon barrels of dried beans. But the crisis is global, by the way. In the UK, the government is warning that there's going to be major gas shortages this winter. In China, there's so much demand for shipping containers to the U.S. that ships are returning from America early without loading up with U.S. goods. So whatever it is that America still exports to China is not showing up there. And now our leaders are, of course, taking this whole snarl of supply crisis and making it even worse with insane and unneeded, you know it, vax mandates. Truck drivers, longshoremen, pilots, mechanics, ship crew, thousands of them are retiring early or just walking off the job altogether to avoid the jab. The Minnesota Trucking Association thinks that right now the U.S. has a shortage of 60,000 truck drivers. So you have to ask yourself, is all of this just the product of random chance, incompetence, or could it be malice? Our next guest says that he has some insight on that question. Now, he works at the Port of Los Angeles, which is the absolute nerve center for this supply crisis. There are dozens, hundreds of ships piling up outside of its port, apparently unable to be processed and unloaded in a timely manner. We've seen that footage. We've seen videos of that occurrence. Now, our guest quite reasonably fears for his job, so much so that he's asked us to keep his identity and his company a secret, and we're going to honor that anonymity request. But he says that these shortages are no accident. He says there's been plenty of goods showing up at his port, but someone, someone high up the chain seems determined to keep things running slowly. Now, that L.A. port whistleblower wrote to the Stu Peters show with tremendous concern. He felt an urgency to make sure that his message is heard, And he joins us now. Sir, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate this. So we see the shortages out here in real America. Why, in short, do you think this is happening? Where's all of the goods? Um, The goods are actually in the warehouses. There is no shortage. They we have actually broken records this year. We've broken records for the last eight years in a row. Uh, This year is the first time that we have ever outproduced Hong Kong and um, That's saying something because they are an amazing port and we blew them out the water this year. So So we're being lied to. Absolutely. Absolutely. So are you saying that the shortage is manufactured? It it has to be. There's no explanation because when we're working this hard, getting that much tonnage out, that means it's going somewhere. But if it's not getting to the people, it's stopping somewhere. I think it's stopping at the supply uh, chain, uh, the supply warehouses, uh, because, I mean, that's the only place it could be. Okay, so logically, I mean, you just heard me say that there's a shortage of 60,000 estimated truckers in the United States. What about that? I mean, couldn't it just be that there's not enough drivers? They're not showing up? I mean... That, that's not true either. There's plenty of truckers coming to the ports every day. That has not changed. There, it seems like there's more than there was before. So um, what there isn't is chassis. Chassis are what the containers sit on to get the cargo out. That's what the truckers pull. And I think that they're sitting at the warehouses full of goods and they're not coming back to us. I mean, it's just unfathomable. Now, you text our producer before your appearance here, and you said that you have something that you overheard or that you learned from your executive vice president that we would be interested in hearing. What information is that that you have? Um, That information was um, about (coughs) AI, excuse me. The AI is predictive programming that um, basically um, Amazon and whatever online programs you're buying stuff from, uh, they predict what we're buying. 20% of all the goods in the largest terminal right now has been there for more than 90 days. 
and that stuff should have been out but people didn't need any more because the program was wrong they did they couldn't predict what people would want during this pandemic and it's stuff that people just don't want so the marketplace for example bezos amazon uses AI to predict what Stu Peters and FAM is going to want during the lockdowns, but the AI programs got it all wrong. And so now everything that they thought I was going to order, my neighbor, my church congregation, the lady down the street, they were wrong. And so now that oh, stuff yeah. is just sitting there. Oh, yeah. I mean, they even bought a, a lot right across from one of the ports, so they were able to get the stuff out and just deal with it later. So. Trying to destroy the truck industry. I got a, a good friend of mine that, that drives trucks. He went through that. It was slowing up the money. They taking stuff off the ships in California. It won't put them out to be sold. They putting all those cargo holes all in the people yes. neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. All this, is, you know, spending money after money, cut the, the pipeline, that the, all those jobs those, those men lost. It was a whole, everything he did was a terror. And all the people that voted for Biden are quiet as kept. They don't want to say nothing negative because they talk so much big junk. Yes. When Trump was in there. They don't want to eat their words, but it doesn't matter. We see it. And the mm. biggest problem that they're going to have to eat is that that that, that juice. They done took the, 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 mm. the OJ. Yes. They and certainly now, did. And they're hiding. Oh, right. And they're hiding the, the juice is a problem because they saying the most of the people that are dying now is the ones who took the juice. Of course. Look, simply, now, as, as I always say, one and one equals two. Please continue. <laughs> and if that wasn't the case and it was just regular other people dying, they can they can put that on the Trump. Like the lady, all these people saying this now, when Trump was in there, they had a ticker time rolling how many people was dying every minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when yeah, this yeah. clown get in there, what happened to the, 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 the ticker? Oh, people stopped dying? Hey, so what about all the, 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 these foreign artists and stuff, man? There was an African brother who was on stage performing, dropped down dead. I just saw today there was a, some um, Hispanic or Latino, whatever he designates himself as, performing, drops down, gets up, and then just drops down again right off the stage. Covering that up because they know they know once the people really really give it yeah. and hear it mm -hmm. they're gonna complete January 6th that's what they're gonna do they that's their big that's their biggest fear they already banned some assault rifle over here I seen it a couple of days ago they trying to uneven the playing field mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but really they don't realize the Dems and the Republicans who's playing this game with the weapons, they don't realize that China them sitting in a whole nother country. If a if a shoe, if a if if a, if a if firefight start out over here and the public and the and the, and the and the politicians get exposed enough, they ain't gonna have nobody protecting them. Cause y'all dumb is defunding the police, making police quit, come up with their own way. When when it really come out that these politicians are just as dirty, ain't no cop gonna come to y'all aid because y'all voted to get them fired yes. and no money. So y'all don't they don't see how they being disassembled from the outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've been played like puppets, man. They're like Pinocchio. <laughs> Shit. I mean, what what kind of sense? We need law and order. 
we see this uh, unequal yoke in regards to the the brutality that's taking place so sh surely the, the 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 thing to say would have been hmm police need better training we need to ensure that the police have better training. We, we're recruiting people who are from the potential neighborhoods that have a, you know, it, it, it's looking at the roots rather than cutting yourself, doing something stupid and then putting a bandage on it. You're taught beforehand, yo, this activity is dangerous. You might wear some, you know, some knee pads and a helmet and da 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 and be careful out there because if you don't, you're going to boss your head. Well, it's, it's, it's one it's too late two this is the nature of caucasian rulership and and until people who are uninformed especially the victims of of caucasian rulership black people pink ear people a lot of us have no history and they don't teach history up as much as they push all this other nonsense because if they push their their history of how they ran their kingdoms from back then to now you'll see that they was doing the same thing back then and that would means what you ain't gonna get no fair shake from them because they can't do it if every country and kingdom that they rule was brutality rape pillage plunder homosexuality pedophilia mm. if that wasn't everything that y'all was running ain't no way we gonna get nothing out of this i was watching instagram the other day and a lady was breaking down how she was listening to somebody talk about can men and women be in a plutonic relationship <laughs> and she said she went and looked the word plutonic and it went back to plato and all these other people when they were one of the requirements to become a politician you had to have a young boy that was your sexual playmate as yes. well as a student. I was live last week talking about how Plato said the uh, platonic relationship isn't what we call it today. And it was actually a relationship between a man and a young boy. And I was like, ah, I'm going to go look that up. And what I found, there was a hierarchy. The bottom tier was the women. It was strictly for procreation and we don't really want to be intimate with you we just need you to have the babies the second tier was with adult men and he said that you should have an erotically charged relationship between men the top tier love of boys refers to an asymmetrical hierarchical relationship between an adult man and a pubescent boy ideally the relationship once established continued for a period of time during which the older man conferred on the boy the benefits of knowledge and the boy granted his lover in other words, the relationship was seen as a part of education and initiation of youth into adult male society. And yo do boy and whatever. That was sort of Plutonic relationship was what was a grown Greek man and a 12 or 13 year old boy. And I And I always tell people, this is what you're looking at when you're looking at a Jedi Knight master with a young Padawan. Yeah. Oh, shit, Sibley. That Woo! is Rome and Greece in the in their little army. Now, when you look at the whole way it's broke down, like the imperialism and all that, that represent Indians. The, the Hindus, where the Caucasian came from. Every, Darth Vader represented the, the old caste system. Him and the Emperor. Uh, the, the men with the white, the, yeah. the foot soldiers, that was the Caucasian race who were being controlled by them. And then you had the big kingdom under the Padawan, you had the, the Knights and the Sith Lords. It just keep but all that's Rome and Greece stuff broke down, written, uh in a sci-fi form by george lucas if you look up george lucas and how he came up with that he tell you he got that off it's based off the republic of rome yeah. so star wars ain't got nothing to do with no aliens it has something to do with these 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 uh sweet 
and sour honey Caesar <laughs> that like to go out and be the emperor and be like, yes. <laughs> yes. You see how sexual the emperor looked like he was getting off on the beta getting upset? Yes, let the dark side. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Let it let it take over you. <laughs> but really, yo, I'm telling you, mm. that right there is none but Greece and Rome. These people are heavily dosed with the the gay side of Leviathan sex forces via the moon. But that lunatic energy. Lunacy. That's why they call it lunacy. Because Luna is another name for the moon. And the most deranged side of the moon is four ether and three ether ghosts. And that's what Tahuti and Osiris both work in tandem. And that's who was given the Caucasian the power he's had. Meaning Tahuti being the god of writing and uh, one of the most intellectuals in the spirit god pantheon gave his power of over to them and then osiris being the, the god of death gave them his power that's why nobody is more deadly than the caucasian race and i'm gonna say this before uh then i'm gonna let you have it afro uno you got people who say nobody's perfect but that's not true because in noon when evolution comes in it goes from six west to three south where we are right now and negativity perfects itself as you get further down in hades or hell or the duet which we in and each race becomes a but a better version of six ether death forces in human form the caucasian race is the perfection of death so nobody can be more perfect in negativity than their race and this is why they are at the top of negativity. What, America got more prisons than anybody in the world? America got more death than anybody in the world? America got more messed up food than anybody? They outdo everybody in negativity. So they are the perfection of negativity. And with that, I yield. Sibling, let, let, let me just play righteous advocate on the, on the uh, your last statements. Because I know there'll be people saying, you know, if we're the original man and the original woman of this plane of existence, you know, we we did all of this here. Surely, you know, we were also doing some kind of wickedness as well. We brought forth, they couldn't have just invented this wickedness. Surely the original man and the original woman, a section of them, was dealing with some kind of wickedness as well. Of course, because the moon and the rest of the orbs all have sexual sides. That's why when you study cults, you're going to find a cult that go back to some particular god and a planet involved. Right. Mm -hmm. Like if you again, the 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 moon had its influence on the Phoenician races, the Mongolians, and the Indian races. So did Jupiter. So did the sun. So did the rest of the orbs. And that's why you go. The only way you're gonna notice they because they put a lot of that into what they call mythology. Yes. So when you read the myth and they yeah. say, oh yeah, the planet Venus was the goddess of love and she came down and they, they give you this big mythological story but in actuality those planets too big to do that but they have brains and their thoughts create spirits from water and then those spirits control whatever person place or thing so if you look around right now you can see sun worship yeah oh come on you can see saturn being worshiped in the kayaba when they go around the kayaba that's saturn mm -hmm. Same thing as Rome. That the worship they had a what a holiday called what Saturnalia. That's Saturn. Yes. All this stuff been here. So of course. Mm. But as time went on in evolution, things get worse over time. Of course, we will be the first a section, but the practices wasn't as gruesome as it is now because it took a long time yes. to push out of nature to get to a senile state. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're at the senality state of almighty nature. That's why you see everybody bugging the hell out. Those who are part of that are the ones you see going to the top. It ain't no nowhere else to go. Mm. Mm. That and excellent you, point. Right. So what? whenever you see a society that's attacking its, its future, 
with the drag queens and going at the kids, that's your future. <laughs> that means you're cutting your own stuff off and you won't be to come back if your race doesn't reproduce. That means y'all gonna be stuck in a spiritual state in whatever bodies y'all got left. But if those two fail to reproduce, y'all gonna evaporate and that race will exist no more. So they done turned on each other and they trying to turn everybody else with them. I'm, I'm, I don't wanna be a woman no more. I wanna be a career woman. So therefore you're gonna stop your, your window between producing maybe from your 20s to your 40s you done wasted all that trying to be, you know, yeah. commercial. You want to be, mm -hmm. you want to go up the business ladder. Other women hate men and they want to be men. And all this stuff is, is an attack on life itself. Because yes. if nobody carries on the reproduction, and now they got to the point where this company done created babies in a in a little in a yes, you see that thirty thousand at a time. <laughs> Shit. So you seen that shit, simply? I seen it. So <laughs> what does that say about humans? Because if if the robot is producing them, then the 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 ones who was naturally doing it, what what what's gonna happen to us? Mm. No, there's it no purpose. See, but those are made for the elite, mm. who done put their consciousness in the computer, wait for this time so they can grow up and be filthy early. Yes. <laughs>
They want to be filthy at two years old, conscious. Mm. Mm. Knowing how to kill and, and do imagine that me and you, 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 me and you two years old, <laughs> and you you think this is another baby. This baby is is already a hundred in, in his mind, but he got a, a two-year-old body. It'll always had a jump on you. Exactly. That'll yes. be perpetual slavery and corrupt, but the 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 universe don't want like that. They already done ran their time, but they didn't play themselves into a corner. Because all it takes is one corona mass injection to knock out the power. <laughs> 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 this the is the thing. That's this it. You didn't yes. get all of that to still die. Mm. You can't escape death. It ain't gonna happen. Nah, and not he's scared all. of that. Mm. That's why they went through such extreme because when the certain ETs gave America and other people technology, they don't realize that was the trick. Gray alien signed treaty with Eisenhower in 1954, after US government rejected overtures from Nordic or Pleiadian aliens, say conspiracy theorists. President Dwight Eisenhower held a secret meeting with extraterrestrial visitors during the early hours of February 21, 1954, while on a vacation to Palm Springs in California, according to UFO and alien conspiracy theorists. He went missing after he was whisked away secretly to Edwards Air Force Base and was not seen until he appeared at a church service in Los Angeles the next Sunday morning. The official explanation of his mysterious disappearance was that he had to undergo an emergency dental surgery. The abrupt disappearance of the president was so unusual that it fueled speculation about an illness or death in the media. The speculation became so intense that the rumors had to be dispelled by the president's press secretary. James Haggerty, who told incredulous reporters at a press conference that Eisenhower had damaged a tooth cap while eating fried chicken and had to undergo emergency surgery. Gray Alien Visitors An artist's representation of gray aliens who allegedly signed a treaty with the Eisenhower administration. A local dentist was later presented to reporters who claimed he had treated Eisenhower. But strange rumors began spreading following information leaked by well-placed sources, the rumors alleged that the local dentist was used to provide Eisenhower with a cover story while he rendezvoused secretly with the extraterrestrial visitors at the Edwards Air Force Base. Significantly, there are no records at the Eisenhower Library, which reportedly has extensive records related to Eisenhower's health, that he ever underwent dental surgery in February 1954, according to UFO researcher William Moore. Eisenhower thus became the first American president to have direct contact with extraterrestrials, According to conspiracy theorists, the meeting took place at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California during the early hours of February 21, 1954. It was the first in a series of meetings that culminated in the signing of a treaty between the U.S. government and an extraterrestrial race called the Greys. The first contact meeting, as it is termed in UFO conspiracy theory circles, involved some intrigue. Eisenhower's secret first contact meeting on February 21, 1954, is believed to have been with the Nordic aliens, also known as Pleiadian aliens, an advanced extraterrestrial race from the Pleiades star cluster with distinctive Nordic appearance, such as fair hair, blue eyes, and white skin. The two sides were unable to reach an agreement on the night of the first contact, and the Greys took advantage of the failure by offering more favorable terms. Details of the agreement with the Greys leaked by whistleblowers include non-interference in human affairs in exchange for accommodation on Earth under conditions of secrecy. In return, they would furnish the US government with advanced technology to help the country to stay ahead of enemy nations. The Greys also agreed they would not approach any other nation to make a treaty. The Greys were housed in an underground facility in Dulce where Phil Schneider claimed he encountered them while working as a geological engineer employed by a private company contracted to build underground bases for the Greys. Schneider revealed that part of the treaty agreement allowed the Greys to abduct a very limited number of humans for medical research and experiments. But the Greys proved untrustworthy and violated the agreement on abductions. Most reports of UFO sightings and stories of abductions involved Greys freely violating the treaty with the government, according to UFO conspiracy theorists. ETs gave America and other people technology. They don't realize that was the trick. Those entities they gave people in the government technology, 
in exchange for human beings because they were trying to get back to being organic. That's the transhumanism sw switch off. We're yes. gonna get in these dumb humans, this tech <laughs> that we've been using to survive. We wanna feel pain and all of that stuff. We can't feel nothing. Yes. Yeah, so we're really gonna get them this tech. Mm. We're gonna take all these humans and find a way to make make and get ourselves back in order. Yeah. Yeah. And they done gave up their human. See, that ain't the laws of nature. I'm not Caucasian. I didn't vote for that. Right? Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to do with none of us voted for that. <laughs> of course not, man. And so listen, they, and, and simply and a, a, a few of those Caucasian folk and other nations, they didn't vote for that shit either. Right. But the problem is nature sees one race as one being. Mm. So the fact that and, and the point is the Caucasian race will always produce people like that who take it upon themselves to take everybody else down with them. Look at look at Charles Schwab now. They making deals on everybody else's behalf. And no one's saying nothing, sibling. No, no and one's they, saying nothing. A lot of the Caucasians see it, but they not, it's like they just that's what I'm saying. They either scared or they just gonna just be quiet. And this is why we have to assert and also eventually separate because of the type of decisions these people in position are doing because they're making decisions and deals with other beings who got an agenda who want something higher than the price I'm willing to pay and that's the thing so these are laws that are immutable it doesn't matter what ETs and human beings or beings are doing to each other certain laws are universal and immutable and if we all are beings who have the ability to choose at a point and in, in the fact that y'all been playing games not, a, not not allowing us to know the decision y'all making it don't count anyway the cycle done change so it doesn't matter what they tried to do what they trying to do they just finna go out and the whole world gonna see it but definitely I didn't vote for that. <laughs> Hell no. no time <laughs> time no, is up. Time okay. is up, sibling. Another mm -hmm. fantastic, entertaining build. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, jewels upon jewels upon jewels. Like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, to jump on this here train, do the knowledge. Check out all the links below. We will be back. <laughs> we will be back. There's gonna be a, a whole load of these videos coming, man. So watch this space, yo. Watch this space. <laughs>